Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. -Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with that reverse envelope stack um, in our little folder that we have been making. And I just wanted to come along really and just decorate up my envelope stack. Um, and obviously hopefully put something here in the middle as well. So, yep, I just thought I would bring you guys along and, you know, we'll get kind of doing it together. So I've been using my Junk Journal Basics, um, you know, Essentials Kit. And, yeah, I'm just going to kind of continue on really using, using that kit. So I'm just trying to use up some of the pages, you know, where I've been printing other things, um, first of all. So let's just take this. on that the right size ish mm, a little bit too too wide isn't it so yeah let me just cut this down slightly more on this side so yeah i just want to decorate up a couple of the envelopes well i mean probably probably most of the envelopes and um then see about what we're going to put in between that envelope stack because obviously I don't want it just, you know, at the moment where like the two stacks of envelopes meet because that would just be really weird. So I'm not really too sure what to put in there. Um, I'm thinking, strangely enough, I'm thinking another envelope. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. So I think what we'll do, we'll decorate up a couple of the envelopes and then we'll kind of open it up and see see how it's sort of looking and see if it's just calling out for something you know if anything's kind of like seeming like the obvious choice at that point so oops, let's move this over slightly it's not very straight in there okay right <clears throat> yep yeah, yeah. leave that one down okay and then yeah might want to just use some other paper here Maybe this one. So I just love all these um, gorgeous looking florals. They're so pretty, aren't they? They're such a vibrant, bright colour. And if you didn't see my launch video for this kit, um, I mean, I'm calling it a sort of basics junk journal, you know, essentials kit. Um, and it's created with, you know, beginners in mind, but not only beginners. You know, anyone could obviously expand their sash um with this kit but the reason i've kind of referred to it as a beginner's kit really is because it's like a one-stop shop so within this kit contained within this kit you've got literally you know pretty much everything that you could possibly need to get you started with a whole variety of different projects i'm just going to see whether i might prefer to have um you know some ledger here instead so um, yeah, it's going to be kind of containing everything that you would need to get you started on, you know, a whole bunch of different projects. I mean, obviously here we're doing this reverse envelope stack with the journal and, you know, the sort of pouch and things like that. But, you know, you could just make a regular junk journal. You could make um, a folio lap book, you know, um, traveller's notebook. You know, you could make cards using this kit. It's going to hopefully be just, you know, a one size fits all type of kit. So, yeah, I just, um, you know, really hope that you all like it. And like I say, I mean, it's not only for beginners because, of course, you know, <laughs> if you're anything like me, I just love adding with my stash full stop. Um, you know, so, of course, any, any additions to my stash are always kind of welcome. But... It was predominantly kind of, you know, the thought was, although it's a little bit more expensive than obviously other kits, it's containing everything. So if you were just building up your digital stash, you know, it's got frames, it's got journal cards, it's got background pages, it's got, um, you know, a variety of like, say, floral, back blah, 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 floral background pages and some plainer ones, i.e. these like ledger pages. Um, and then you've got butterflies, you've got labels, you've got some tags. What else have you got? Oh, some fussy cut flowers. Um, yeah, I mean, you've just got a really comprehensive, like, lot of different things that you could use. Um, which I just hadn't really seen anything like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, 
hopefully it's just going to be a really versatile you know really just use usable usable and useful kit for you know both experienced journal makers and kind of those people building up their stash you know as well so um yeah i just really hope that you all that you all like it so just going to tear this down <coughs> just see oh my goodness i mean how gorgeous does that look just going to move it out and then just going to sort of tear it down because it wasn't too bad a shape for that envelope to be honest was it this okay and here at the top let's take that down yeah so thank you to anybody who has purchased this kit um already so yep thank you so much and i really really hope that you're loving using it you know i hope you're finding it's got plenty of things i hope you're finding you know that the um patterns and the, the papers are all really pretty and you know yeah i just really hope you're having a lovely time using it i have to say i'm loving using it and um yeah really really having a lovely lovely time playing with it because it's um you know very very bright but also got sort of some subtle elements as well so you know and everything just seems to tie together really really well i mean i'm not the best as you know for you know mixing and matching kind of a variety of colors or patterns you know i tend to kind of stick with the same old things you know and be a bit matchy matchy but this <laughs> it's got this very strange quality that you know it's um yeah taken a bunch of different patterns or florals or whatever but they just seem to then work and go really well together. So I hope that you're finding that as well. Um, you know, definitely, yeah, I'm kind of feeling feeling that way. So there we go. So that's that envelope there. Looks pretty. Okay. <clears throat> right, let's just see what we want to put on this side. So so maybe a floral I'm thinking on this side okay <clears throat> okay so yeah let's just take that down there okay Oops, sorry, it's got some like thread hung on my glue, so I'll just clear that. Okay, right. So I hope everyone's having a good day, hopefully doing some crafting, doing some nice projects. I'm filming this on the same day that I filmed the last one, and my goodness, it's the most horrible grey drab day. I talked about it in the last video and yeah <laughs> this is like the same day and I can assure you the weather has got no better no better in the last half an hour it's uh yeah just just set to be a horrible day I think for the whole day so um yeah not a not a great day okay how gorgeous does that look so this one here, what I might do is actually glue it down here, you know, like we do with the Crafty Cat envelopes um, and then open it out as a side pocket because we don't necessarily want them all, you know, tucky in envelopes, if you see what I mean. You know, it might be nice to have some as pockets on the outside instead. So I just wonder whether I've actually printed any on thicker card. I definitely went off to do that the other day. Now, did I do it is the question. I don't know whether I did. Well, I, I did, but I don't know what I've done with those papers now. Yeah, I definitely did do that. Um, now it's like, where have I put them? What did I do when I actually did that with them? Oh, do you know, I have no idea now. Just looking in my bag. 
see if I put them in there. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so annoying. Yeah, I definitely printed them off. And now they are nowhere to be seen. Which is incredibly annoying. Let me just double check here. Hold on. Oh, what have I done with those? Uh, maybe I just didn't even bring them up here. Maybe they didn't even get as far as coming up to the to the loft with me. Yeah, they must have not done. No, not that. No, no, no. Oh, that's so frustrating. Right, I'm going to have to come back to that one because I haven't got any thick card. And, you know, yeah, so I'm going to have to come back to this one um for that side but i could definitely i could do this side so you know it's not not the end of the world so let's just take one of the invoice sheets again just because you know we don't want to have it all um you know floral we want to kind of mix it up don't we between the florals and the you know the neutrally bits so yeah let's just take this in here okay Right. And take that. Okay, right. Okay. So yeah, just going to pop that on there. Just so, so I've yeah got a contrast, you know, it's not all florals and it's not all plain. But just so as I've got sort of, oops, a good mix. A good mix of the two. So, oops. Okie dokie. Right. Put that one down. Okay. Oh, how pretty does that look? Yeah. Oh, I must say, I'm loving doing these envelope stacks. Uh, they might be one of my new favourite things. Mm, another new favourite thing. Honestly, I've got as list a, little, a list as long as my arm now of favourite things that I like to do. So, um, yeah, maybe this will be yet another one. Um, you know, of those nice favourite things. Right. So, we're going to come back to, obviously, you know, this um, envelope when I when I've actually gone and located my thicker paper. So what I'm thinking is maybe on here is we could have either another very big envelope, um, you know, which might tie in nicely with the envelope stack, or I've got here these policy envelopes, which I'm thinking, well, perhaps that would look quite cool because we've got obviously the policy closure on here so it would sort of tie in theme wise you know it would tie in quite nicely or we could have another envelope more like just a pocket so this one I have obviously glued down for some other reason who knows what I was actually thinking with this but I'm just checking that I haven't cut it open anywhere before I cut it open here and then decide oops I actually had already cut it open on a different side so I'm thinking we might like to have an envelope pocket in the middle. I don't know whether it would be better higher or lower. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I think maybe lower. Mm, well, I can't decide really. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe that, and let's just have a look. So that's an A5 envelope. What we could do, actually build it up and have another one. So we had like two really big pockets. I mean, this is just another envelope that was kind of beside the, the desk. 
Uh, they're slightly different sizes, would you believe? I mean, I'm sure they're both sold as A5 envelopes, but yeah, slightly different sizes. Not that that probably matters. And actually, just wondering whether I could actually stick this together and slide that one in. Should we try that? I don't know whether it will, but I'm just wondering whether that would work. So, Because that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? I mean, I have to say it will be tight because, um, like I say, I mean, these are sold as A5 envelopes. So, I mean, the that size difference is like literally a couple of millimetres. But I'm wondering whether it would just be enough to be able to squeeze that envelope in. So, if I just cut that across the top, like that, and then just... We can squeeze this into here if it will fit. Oh, it does fit, look. How cool is that? So then, oops, we could just have that. Like that, maybe. And we've then got the two, the two envelopes. I'm just trying to think, are we actually kind of benefiting at all from that? Um, or, of course, what we could do is have this much lower down. So we have like this top envelope here and then we could have this one, you know, much smaller. Mm. It's trying to get sort of the aesthetics right, isn't it? So as it looks palatable, um, do you know, I'm now wondering. If we cut it about here, so, right. Let's just go about here. I don't know whether this is going to work, but I've just had another sort of idea. But yeah, it might work, it might not. So, oh dear. Terrible, terrible cut in there. Absolutely awful. Okay. So this then tucks in like that. So, yeah, we could have it like that. And I'm just wondering whether... Oh, come on. Oh, can't get that on there now. Right. Just wondering whether we could have this. I don't know whether this is going to work. I can't even get it to slide down that envelope. So I think fat chance of getting it to now slide into, into that white envelope. That's just going to be like a tall order, isn't it? But... Oh, come on. Oh, this is this is proving impossible. I don't know why I thought this would work. Right, okay. I just couldn't get hold of it for some reason. It was, um, yeah. I couldn't get hold of it. Right, let's just squeeze that into there. Come on, squeeze in. So, yeah, just wondering if we could have it like that. I mean, it has gone a little bit baggy because obviously that's, you know, tight to say the least. Um, I don't know really whether I'm kind of gaining anything by doing that is the thing. Uh, and then I could even just have it more, more like those, couldn't I? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is a bit of a tough tough choice to be honest let me just try and slide this back in again okay honestly whose silly idea was this oh <laughs> just i don't know what is going on right what do we think to that i don't know I mean, obviously that's not decorated. So, you know, there is that to factor in. Imagine it with some pattern papers. You know, I know it looks really, really rubbish at the moment. But, you know, if it had some decorative papers on it and things and it was, you know, pretty and looking sort of in keeping with the rest, what would that be like as a sort of pocket? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Let me just bring these in. Hold on. So imagine this here I know it's very hard to imagine because of course it doesn't look very good but <sighs> I don't know let me just take this little sleeve off again Oops. Okay. so 
again having that there. Right there. Do you know, I just, I'm not really loving it. So yeah, let's completely forget that. Right, let's try something else. So now, again, this is just like crafting on the fly. Crafting on the fly here. So I'm thinking now. Oh, what am I thinking? Almost like to do like a sort of more wardrobe type style piece, really. Um, ah, let's just have a think. I might be better off doing this without envelopes, but if these were the same size here and then would open and then just have some pretty journaling space, I'm thinking, in between. So, yeah, I sort of like the thought of that. Again, that requires me to have some thick paper. I have got this one, but this seems to be the only sheet that I've got and I've coffee dyed it. So um, let's just have a look. So, yeah, like a wardrobe. And we've made these before, like in a mass make, to be honest. Um, so they're nothing kind of new. But I'm thinking that is quite nice in there to, to finish that. So I'm just going to fold this in. Like that. Okay. And then fold the other one in to meet that. Now, unfortunately, my printer did not print borderless when printing this. So, um, yeah, it's not not perfect with you know with no border um but again you know we could maybe kind of i don't know put some lace or something along that edge so that that's a bit more disguised so let's just pop that down like that and then yeah what about like that do my envelopes still work over the top yeah they do just wondering whether I could get rid of that border. I mean, definitely I want to get rid of the border at the bottom because that just looks terrible, doesn't it? So let's just cut that off. Like that, okay. Yeah, like that. Now, on the edge, I might even be able to just have something like some pretty ribbon. Got this velvet ribbon which just was laying around and I thought, oh, perhaps that might look good. I might be able to cut the border off of that other piece. Oh, how pretty does that look? Yeah. Right, let me just get rid of this border because that's distracting to say the least. So yeah, let's get rid of this. Oh, the heavens have opened and it's just chucking it down with rain again. Just cut this edge down. Yep. And then this edge here. Just maybe have this blue velvet ribbon. I mean, I just have to be a bit careful because, of course, you know, velvet ribbon that might bulk it out to look a bit too much as well. But yeah, what about something like that? And then I'm thinking possibly using some of the fussy cut flowers. Let me just see. Oh gosh. Let's have a look. Oh, honestly, I don't know what I've um, done with half my stuff. It's so frustrating when you've printed off all these bits and then I've moved them around and now can't find them all. Um, nope. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know what I've done with my fussy cut flowers, to be honest. Uh, yeah, who knows what I've done with those. Um, I have got some here. These are the smaller ones, which I would have probably, probably preferred the bigger ones, but... 
Unless they're under anything. So sorry about this. Honestly, I've got so much stuff laying around where I'm kind of in in the throes of doing all different projects. So yeah, not not really very good. Um, I have got this frame which again my printer printed off borderless but not quite if you see what I mean oh my goodness how lovely does that look I love how that looks oh I don't know why I'm still trying to do something with that um blue ribbon it was just I think that blue is such a pretty color and I thought oh if I could possibly use it anywhere you know. okay okay so yeah I mean I love this frame even though my printer had um, mucked up how it printed it to be honest it still looks lovely so let me just see I've got a blue one here which of course is just you know it's printed properly so because then I'm thinking I could just put some velcro on there um, as my closure for this what do we think I do love it I have to say I think I probably prefer the black one actually so oops let me just reach down and see if I've got some of the black ones maybe smaller no oh what on earth is going on I just you know you have every single thing printed out except the configuration that you want so okay right Yeah, I think this is going to look really, really pretty. I didn't mind the blue, but I just always love black. It's such a striking, striking look, isn't it? Oh, that just looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, I really do love that. Okay, so I'm going to put this onto here. So what I'm going to do is just, I think, pick it up here and then glue down here so that I know roughly where that glue needs to go to like that okay plenty of glue because you want it nicely stuck okay oh my goodness oh, this feels a bit like I'm doing surgery of some sort oh dear right Okay. Oh, how yummy does that look? I love how that looks. And then, yeah, can definitely have a rose on there. So really, really, really pretty. So <clears throat> I'm just going to ink that just where I mucked up a bit of cutting. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Love, love, love how that looks. And I'm just wondering for whether we could have one of the labels. So maybe a black one the black one might not really show up enough but yeah I'm just going to try it because I just thought well it might might show up enough and it would look really good you know if it did if it did show up it would look really good if it doesn't show up obviously it would just look completely rubbish but you know because it won't even show up oh how pretty is that yeah so let's just squish that down Right, I'm just going to hot glue this like that and we just put that on here like that. Okay, and then the rows Oh how oh how yummy does that look? Sorry about that. I just um Got it stuck to me for a minute. Yeah, so I'm going to put a Velcro dot on here, I think, so that it just Velcros on. And then inside here, I will probably just put like a little flippy pad or something in, um, you know, stuck in. I think that would look really pretty. It would just finish it off really, you know, really nicely. And that's going to be what's, you know, buried under this envelope stack, stash, stack. 
um yeah i folded that in the wrong way um and then obviously we're going to have that policy closure wrapping around here so yeah um but yeah i love how it's looking so far i have to say this i think just it's the perfect thing for in there it just you know i wasn't quite sure what was needed but yeah love 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 how that looks it's really pretty i'm now almost wondering whether i want to do another crafty cat one here um so we have the pockets on the edge just because you know you want your pockets to be as easy to get to as possible so i'm thinking is this going to be tight to get to or is it going to be okay i don't know to be honest it it might be okay um yeah so i'm going to glue this down now yeah so i might glue it down with a top loading pocket and then you know you've got the option of using it as a top loading pocket and like i always say just because you've got pockets you know you don't have to use them but i just like to add them because you've got the option then if you don't add them you know you don't even have then the option of of having the pocket do you so you know i just think it's sort of good practice to put pockets even if then they're not going to be used i mean that's just you know that's just my opinion obviously i'm not saying that's you know that's a must or anything like that but yeah i just think it's quite good so i'm just going to go over this with the hot glue just because it's going to help it just stay instantly so let's just put that down here just check my envelopes fold in that i haven't put it too too far over one side or the other okay yeah Oh my goodness, how lovely is that? So, yeah, a nice roomy pocket at the top. Now, obviously, you can see, I mean, because this is coffee-dyed paper, it's kind of almost a bit baggy here. But in some ways, that's quite good because it definitely shows that that's a pocket. And, of course, it's making it much more roomy to actually be able to access the pocket. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that um, at all. I think it's, you know, it's a bonus that it's a bit on the baggy side okay so now just yeah pressing this down making sure it's glued really nicely in okay right let's get my velcro dots now and we'll just put those down here okay, oops. one and two so you yeah you just get obviously your male and your female and then just, you know, glue them together. Not glue them, sorry, you know, velcro them. Velcro them together in their natural way that they want to do. And then you can obviously glue them or, you know, stick them down. So I'm wondering whether I might like one on either corner, to be honest, because this is sort of big. So actually, I might prefer... I would normally just put it in the middle, but I'm thinking because that's quite a biggish piece... Actually, I think having one on each corner would probably be better. So, yeah, let me just bring, bring those in. Okay. Like that. Oh, gosh, come on. Right, I don't know whether I've got the male and the female up the right way, if you see what I mean, but that's fine. So, yeah, I mean, you could even have a middle one, you know, if you feel that dips and it's likely to kind of, you know, crush the paper. You could even have, you know, the middle Velcro dot, but yeah, I mean, if not, you've got kind of top and bottom. So, yeah, nice. Um, and then, like I say, yeah, I'll probably do like a little flippy pad in the middle um, of here as well. Um, and probably then some lace at the bottom but I'm really loving how this is coming along so far um yeah like I said I mean it's my first um you know uh what what do we call these envelope stack it's my first one that I've ever done but oh my goodness it's so lovely yeah really loving doing it so just going to cut this down this is just one of the journal cards again you know I don't know but I just thought before we finish up just going to see whether we could have this you know put on top of any of those envelopes so because I mean obviously I don't want to have this plain you know of course we want to have something on here so I'm just kind of thinking 
you know, layering bits up. I might prefer to have this on this and actually a plain piece on here. So again, I've got these pictures. So let's take this one. This one might be too big, but let's see. Okay. and yeah cut that down yeah it might be too wide for that envelope i'm not sure let's just see oh no it's okay oh how pretty does that look i love how that looks on there and then could use oh i wish i could find the bigger flowers what have i done with those <laughs> very annoying ah right um could use one of the butterflies I'm thinking so yeah let me just fill in the butterflies Oops. Uh, oh maybe that orange one well to be honest maybe one of each actually the blue and the orange so let's just take this down like that okay so yeah I mean I'm thinking possibly put this down like a pocket so you know just to add even more pockets as if we didn't have enough um so yeah let's do that I would just glue it on three sides so a bit there uh, there. Okay. So, yeah, glue that one down there. Like that. And then the butterfly. Just going to cut this one out just to see. You know, might decide actually just one. But who knows? Might Might decide having two is better. So, yeah, quick cut this one out. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I mustn't forget, I did make that snippet roll actually as well from this kit. So, yeah, I have also got a snippet roll that I could be using as well. So, yeah, that's quite pretty, isn't it? I mean, I was going to just have the orange, but to be honest, I think maybe having the two you know it just makes it a bit more interesting doesn't it and I'm swapping it round so as we've got the orange tied in from the bottom and then the blue just pop that there to just break up you know all the brown and the orange really so oh how gorgeous does that look and then yeah this one I will probably have something like this on here um, but I haven't quite decided and then again Perhaps we could have one of the labels. Mm. Or oh, thinking maybe this one. Done. Okay. Right. Okay. trying to think still where I've put those other papers I've no idea no idea at all so yeah I might have it like that I think I need to ink around this because this was that white envelope which yeah it's looking a bit too white isn't it around that edge so yeah that just kind of looks a lot better doesn't it straight away I'd forgotten that I had that envelope which of course I had not coffee dyed or anything so yeah Right, let me just go down this side here. Okay. Oh, it's tricky to try and ink just that bit of envelope that's showing and not go all over the, the ledger page, but not too, too bad. Oops. 
yeah how pretty does that look oh that's so gorgeous right so yeah let's put this one down so sorry my glue's got just like threads hanging all over it that's uh it's very thready today okay so yeah let's put that one down there okay <clears throat> like that and then just this little label we will just have over there and i'm just going to hot glue this and you know as i say all the time i mean this is overkill but you know i'm just doing it because it's just nice and quick so yeah oh how pretty does that look looks gorgeous doesn't it i mean i could have a little butterfly on there um <laughs> these are now in the big size so i've gone from i was looking for the flowers in the big size only had the small size and now i could do with of course the butterflies in the small size but i only had the big size so i mean it just goes to show doesn't it no matter what you've got it's not going to be the right thing you know it's um yeah inevitably you're not going to have the thing that you're actually looking for you can have all sorts of things printed out but not ever quite the right thing sorry i'm just having a look because i did i think come across some butterflies in a smaller size so hold on right oh maybe i didn't i thought i did aha here we go so yeah i'm just thinking kind of a butterfly in a smaller size would be better on this so but I do think maybe that green one would look good. So let's just take that one. Okay. I can't tell you how much I love all the colours in this kit. It's so, so pretty. I mean, I am obviously a fan of colour. So yeah, I mean, I guess that helps. But honestly, it's so lovely seeing such a vast combination of colours. They just look so gorgeous. Okay. Like that. Oh my goodness, how lovely does that look? Oh, just yummy, doesn't it? So yeah, and to be honest, I don't think I even need to move it all around. I think just where it landed, <laughs> where it was thrown and landed, it just looked great there, didn't it? So yeah, just like that. Okay, so I will probably call it quits there for today. Um, I hope that you like how it's coming along. I mean, I'm loving it and just, yeah, really, really loving working with such a bunch of different gorgeous colours. Um, yeah, so I hope that you like it and, you know, think it's really coming along really, you know, really nicely. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much then. Bye.